Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Monday. I hope everybody's day is going really well, and I hope your week is getting off to a good start. Today, I wanted to get on here and share um, in light of the post I made last week about uh, being vulnerable and sharing your greatest weakness. Um, I wanted to get on here and make a video and be vulnerable and, and share my greatest weakness. Um, so, so last week, as mentioned, I, I had asked the question to everybody to share their greatest weakness and what a beautiful response. Um, so many people willing to be vulnerable and, um, chime in and share their, their weaknesses. And I am grateful for you guys for that. And, you know, you know, some of the, the questions I post on there, um, really ask you to, to be honest with, with yourself. And, and so I appreciate you guys being honest with yourself. So in return, my greatest weakness is my ability to control things or the necessity in my mind to control and also my anger. So, I, I mean, I have a couple of, couple of weaknesses that are, that are really, uh, have to put in constant work and, and do the small things to keep those things from um, overwhelming me and taking over my personality and keeping me from being heart-centered. Um, you know, I, I've sat with it quite a bit, and I, I think my, my control issues come from my perfectionism, um, trying to make everything perfect. Uh, trying to make everyone happy. Um, and, you know, just recently uh, sitting in, in meditation, it came to me that that my perfectionism really stems from early childhood and, and my biological father leaving. And <clears throat> when that happened, it triggered something in me that um, it wasn't sadness. It wasn't, it, it was totally different. Uh, psychological reaction than, than most, um, you know, some people have the, the fear of abandonment and mine definitely stems from that, but it, it that fear created uh, perfectionism because if I, in my mind, viewed myself as perfect and in control, then nobody would, nobody else would leave me. You know, if, if I was perfect and, and good at everything and the best at everything. Uh, so it, it goes to show you in this human realm where the ego steps in to protect the soul. So again, I, and I preached on this and, and spoke on it about uh, a million times and um, that's why it's so important to understand that the ego is not meant to be killed. It, it is the soul's protector in this human realm. Um, so that's where the ego, my ego came in and, and started, uh, trying to control everything and make everything perfect so that everybody would be happy and, and I would get the praise and everybody would love me, you know, because, uh, early on I experienced somebody that, that I was really close to walk out on me. Um, so that is one of my greatest weaknesses and a caveat to that is, is when I don't have control or something doesn't go my way, my anger and my irritability flare up like, like that. And, you know, it, I've really put a lot of practices in the play to, to counter those flare ups and, and they still happen. I'm human and, um, affirmations are, are huge for me. Uh, I now I'm able to separate myself and, and ask for space. Um, when I feel those emotions coming on rather than, than letting them out and taking it out on people that, that don't deserve any, any negative repercussions for, from whatever is happening. You know, I, I've been able to separate myself and do some deep belly breathing and really, um, bring myself back to center. But again, uh, it is a, it is a weakness of mine and it's something that I will probably constantly work on probably my whole life because, uh, most negative emotion that I experience channels out in anger because anger is what has been, um, programmed in me. So 
It's a constant work, just like uh, anybody dealing with a, a weakness of theirs. Um, you know, I, I'm really trying to anger is such a powerful emotion. So learning to channel that powerful emotion in the right direction in a positive manner can really uh, set your world ablaze in, in a positive way. So my greatest weakness for all of you um, that are curious or all of you that shared your weakness, your weaknesses with me and interacted with me, I'm grateful for you and here's mine. So thank you so very much if you interacted with me. Uh, thank you so very much if you watched this video. And if you didn't get a chance to speak of your greatest weakness in the comments section, go ahead and let us know. You know, I'm just trying to create a space for everybody to be vulnerable. And to for, for me, I, I view myself as a very strong person. Um, so when strong people can step out into the light and be vulnerable, it creates a space for, for other people to step out of the light or step into the light rather and be vulnerable and, and discuss things that that are either taboo taboo or embarrassing or or what we feel is shameful, you know. Just trying to create a space for all that negative energy to be released and for people to talk about and create conversations. So please indulge in conversation and difficult conversations because that's how we evolve and that's how we rid ourselves of things that no longer serve us. So I love you guys. I hope that your week is filled with love and joy and happiness and loved ones and laughter and, and everything that makes you happy. I hope your week is filled with that. And if it's not, change it. Life is all about choices and you are the creator of your reality. So change that shit. <laughs> I love you guys. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you very soon.